Okay. It is a sunny 81 degree Sunday in Southern Nevada. <laughs> and it is, like I said, Sunday, March 27th, which also happens to be my dad's birthday. Um, and of course he's passed and, and I'm thinking of him heavily today. Um, but that's not why I'm sitting in front of this camera. Holy moly guacamole. Oh my goodness. Um, I had, I had a, I had like go out and, um, my, my normal driving headlight. Um, in my Buick Rendezvous, um, that I just spent a whole buttload of money with the assistance of work and s donations from strangers and <laughs> to get a lot of repairs done on it. Um, so, but I thought, oh, a headlight, that's not that big of a deal. Uh, it should be a simple fix. You know, it's a light bulb, right? <laughs> well, this is nothing like dealing with a light bulb in a, in a ceiling fixture or a lamp. Oh, my lanta. Um, uh, this is the old one. And as you see, it plugs into something that is catches there to make sure it stays in place but it doesn't just plug you just can't just plug it in blah 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 and be done okay because first you got to get to it okay and to get to it you have to pull out the whole freaking light housing yeah my hands yeah that because it's that damn big okay my little hands trying to get this out of there okay so that I can get to this guy and get him out and put the new one in okay Whew. so the, I, I I don't know who's in charge of of the making of cars car makers um this this was so overcomplicated. It's not funny. This does not need to be this damn complicated to change a freaking light bulb. Um, and, and it didn't go right <laughs> because besides that one screw that's there to hold it in, the other thing holding that housing in place was this piece of plastic that that broke. There's supposed to be more to it here but it broke and the other piece is kind of stuck down inside right now and I don't have the patience to go and pull it out at the moment so so after I finally got it oh uh, out and um had to and it's not like unscrewing there's these little lips there and it's a tight fit so I had to after I finally struggled with my little hands to get it out and then I had to struggle to get it apart because it was in there tight and and being careful not to break the little latches that catch onto this little thing there. Um, you know, I finally I got it in and then I'm trying to put my my white housing back into the Buick properly. And of course, you know, I got the screw back in. Thank God there was at least one screw. Um, but that broke. So what besides that one screw, what's holding my light in place right now? Think the maker of duct tape. This this specifically is Gorilla duct tape. But it you know, but duct tape. Oh. They, <laughs> um, this this overcomplicated mess is a sign of stupidity, okay? Because smart people don't overcomplicate crap like this, all right? No, this is not what smart people do. Smart people go, hey, let's keep it simple. 
You know, why overcomplicate our lives if we don't have to? Ding! I mean, so, you know, I'm, I'm car hunting right now and I, for a vehicle that'll be better for going back and forth to work. And then I can save the Buick as a backup vehicle um, if I can find a car I can afford. There's the problem right there. Um, and I'm not trying to buy a new car. I'm just trying to buy a decent used car with good gas mileage. And since I, I have a 70 mile drive to work, there's 70 miles between my house and work, which means I drive five, at least five days a week, 140 miles a day. Okay. Um, and yes, I've tried to get a transfer to a closer, um, but that hasn't, panned out. I, I keep that transfer. They just keep, I don't know what's wrong with this other location that's closer to me, but they won't accept me. Um, and that is screwed up. Uh, I, I don't know what their malfunction is. If they think they got enough little brown women working there or what. Um, but I can't even get the, the ASDS there, which is basically a human resources person to speak with me properly. Um, so yeah, so, so yeah, I'm, I'm back in the house and I'm really frustrated and PO'd because this, this should not have been that damn complicated. Come on. It's changing a freaking light bulb. You know, I should not need a mechanic for that. I should not need an electrician for that. And it shouldn't take two freaking people. But it was me out there by myself wrestling with a light bulb and a housing thing that is put together fucking... I tried not to swear. I so tried not to swear. But yeah, there it is. And I'm not I'm not re-recording. I'm leaving it right there. Ugh. But... The light, the new light bulb is in place. It appears to be working. I'll go out and double to check it again later after I have calmed down. And, um, yeah, this is frustrating. I, I mean, and, and, uh, and, and when did used cars get so freaking expensive? I, I mean, I, I keep getting... It should be, you know, it's a little car, it, 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 it's used, it's, how does that end up with a freaking $400 a month payment? I'm not paying that. That's crazy. That's, that's, ha that's more than half my house payment. No, we're, and we're not doing great. We're not fabulous. I sleep on a twin bed that doesn't have a proper foundation under it because I can't afford to go out and buy a bed frame for it. I don't even have a full size bed for an adult. I'm sleeping on a twin bed. Luckily, I'm child size. Ah! Okay, I'm gonna stop here and I'm gonna go 